Although you can use all kinds of little boxes to make little sensory spaces, these are from IKEA. They're part of the Billy Bookcase range. And do you know what? They're lovely because they fold flat, you zip them up, and they make a great square box. So this means that they're going to be easy to store in a classroom, easy to assemble. You can put them up, take them down as you need to. And here's what you can do with them. Obviously, you could make a lovely little story with these, but you know, sometimes if you're doing visual stimulation, it's really nice just to shine a light into the box. And what I want to talk about is the difference between black and white. If you look here, I'm shining a colored light into a white box and the light is being reflected. So this means that it's going to be really, really quite bright for the learner. Some learners need that and will really enjoy it. Shifted over to the black box and now the light is being soaked in. This isn't as bright, but the contrast can be a lot brighter. So for some, white works. For some, black is so much better. The nice thing about this kind of box is that you can back project. In other words, you can put the light behind the box and then the learner can look at it or view it from the front. And once again, you'll see here a marked difference between white and black. Although the black on the back of the box looks really bright, because black soaks light in, when it's viewed from inside the box, it's going to be a lot darker. Now, for some learners, that could be better if they don't like bright lights. And it's not just lights that we'll use with boxes. iPads can really be fantastic in a box, especially a dark box. If somebody's looking into the box to see the imagery, this can really help them. White boxes are okay for iPads, but somehow the black box just seems to show it up so much better. So boxes, yep, theme boxes can be great fun, but so can light boxes like this.